Elias Larry here of Xbox Live's Major Nelson here at Meltdown Comics on Sunset Boulevard in historic Hollywood, California. Why? Well, for the launch of Ori and the Blind Forest. Now, if you haven't seen Ori and the Blind Forest, this is an extraordinarily beautiful game. You are just gonna love the look. More importantly, there's a lot of fun in there to play. We got a chance to talk to our friends at Moon Studios. Now, for everyone else, this is a launch. For them, it's the culmination of four years of hard work. Let's take a look. I'm super crazy excited about, about the event today. It's kind of surreal. We can't believe it's finally out there and people are going to play it. We just want to see how people like our game. And it's just crazy to think that, you know, after four years, it's like a, one idea that we had in you know small basement in our homes it just comes to fruition and becomes this event with all of these people like playing the game and being true fans and being touched and moved by the game. Yeah, like I used to work at Blizzard Entertainment and then just wanted to create um, our own studio where we could make our own games, right? So we just dabbled around with prototypes and it was just this platforming test. And at that point, you know, games like Super Meat Boy came out, and for the first time, there was there was something where uh, platforming uh, was really pushed to a new level. It kind of like gave, gave us that inspiration of, hey, we, we could probably really push it even further than that. And yeah, it was just a crude demo in itself. Like if you look at the visuals and so on, but that didn't matter, right? Because the the actual gameplay, like the feels of the control and so on, the pixel position was already there, and that's. That's a really good place also, to start another, from. Another interesting thing about it, I'm just, I'm just having flashbacks now as you're asking these questions, like to our first vertical slice pitch to Microsoft, like to make this game. And one thing I remember is like, always had this special, beautiful atmosphere to it. And I think the big part of that was music. Gareth Coker was with us from the very start. And even that first prototype had that music touch to it. That just, you know, it was very, it was way simpler than it is right now. But when you played it, you, you felt something. When we start with prototypes, we, we start a lot of times with like making little films, like little movies with our animators, right? And one of the film, one of the little movies that we had just as a concept was Ori kind of like kicking himself from enemy to enemy and bashing across the room, right? And then it's really about, well, how do you take that kind of gameplay and plant it into the game? Not only that the actual character has the abilities, but the environment has yeah. its own ability. So we try to design a game where there's, you, you don't have a lot of repetition, so every section, every new environment has a different look, different sound to it, different feel to it. But also, there's unique abilities in every single environment that work with your character to create this really unique experience and feel to every section of the game. We are definitely inspired by things like Miyazaki, by many you know films that we kind of grew up with, like Princess Mononoke and so on. Like that's that's just inspirations for us. I think that that's true for every artist, right? Like you always kind of like draw from a certain source. It's amazing what our artists were able to accomplish over the years. Like if you were to send us a screenshot from two years ago to to our past selves, we look at that screenshot and be like, no way, no, the game is not going to look that good. I mean, we were just like trying to get there, and it just eventually all the back and forth between the artists and the technology that we developed just grew into this something unique, taking all these inspirations, giving it to our artists, and they just had a ball with it. They, they knocked it out of the park completely. It's an amazingly beautiful looking game. There you have it, Ori and the Blind Forest launch event. What an amazing evening for a very special game. I urge you to check it out. I'm Larry Herb, Xbox Live's Major Nelson, down here in Hollywood, California. Thanks for watching.